For the first time tonight, we're hearing from Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland about Tire Mountain, the pile of old tires created by the city and Shelby County. Tens of thousands of tires were collected during January's tire redemption event. Problem is, the city and county never got permission from the property owner. Local I-Team senior investigator Jenny DePrizio broke the story and has new information now at 6. Jenny? Yeah, you know, Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland says once they get permission from the property owner, the tires will be moved. We've told the owner, we've communicated to him a couple days ago, that as soon as you give us the permission, we're going to move those out of there. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland says the city is now talking to the actual owner of the property where these tires are piled up. The city and county had partnered with this man, Devin James, and his company called Refurbin for the tire redemption event. James told city officials they could put the tires there, but James doesn't own the property where the tires were dumped. I'm told the city is no longer talking to Refurbin about the tire situation, but trying to make arrangements with the real owner of the property. We want to be uh, very clear and intentional with the ownership and make them that we want to make sure that they understand what we're going to do, what we need to do. Uh, we kind of make them aware of what changes we made to the property. Public Works Director Robert Connect says the tires have been sitting there for months because a contractor said they were too muddy to remove. It was going to cost almost three times the original amount. Connect says the city has now worked out a process to clean the tires on site with equipment so it won't cost taxpayers as much money. One Shelby County Commissioner hopes that's the case because commissioners are being asked to appropriate more money for the cleanup. It's very frustrating to me that the taxpayers that I represent, now they have to put up more money to take care of the situation. Connect says if the city gets permission, if it's given permission to remove the tires, it could start as early as next week. Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.